as you can see once we click the button text view clears in this video i will show you how to clear edit text with the click of a button hey guys it's mass programmer here and let's get started first things first what i'm going to do is move this to the side so we can have a, a bigger screen so what we're going to do first is go to activity main which is right here and what we're going to do is click this and go to split so what i'm going to do is type anything in there you can type whatever you want but what i'm going to put is put clear clear since we're going to be clearing the edit text one way to make the text size bigger is just to put text size and then it'll just auto complete for you and i'm going to put 28 sp and that should make it big enough next thing i'm going to do is add a button so i'm going to get back to design and add a simple quick button remember when you're in constraint layout make sure you get your constraints or else it would say there is an error now that we have everything set up i'm going to go back to split because what i want to do is give each of these widgets a button i mean an id sorry for that i meant id the reason i'm saying id is because this is how android studio knows which widget you're talking about for example let's say you go in a room and there's two people in the room you can't just say hey can you come over here you have to call that person by their name for example hey ryan i need you to do this for me hey clark i need you to do this for me and this is basically what we're doing giving them a name so we're going to put id and it already auto completes for you i'm going to just name it text view error went away and I'll just leave the ID as button here so what we're gonna do is initialize them text view text view with button button text view and what we're doing right now is connecting them with their IDs. So we're going to do text view equals find view by ID r dot ID dot and the name that, that the ID that we gave them. So the ID I gave text view was text view. So I'm going to put r dot ID dot text view. And for button, it will be the same thing. Find view by ID r dot id dot button great now that we have everything initialized and set up let's start so first what we're gonna do is do button dot excuse me on yes i meant set on click listener we're gonna do new view basically what this does is does it's the function that the program is going to do once you click on the button so once you click on the button anything inside here is going to go so what we're going to do once the button is clicked is we're going to put text view dot set text to an empty space you can just press space bar and that's all Basically what textview.setText text is, it's gonna set the text to whatever you want. So right here, I just put a blank space, which can also mean clear. You can put whatever you want. This can also be to change it to whatever you want. And for now, what I'm gonna do to show you an example is start up the emulator and it should show you. So I'll come right back once the emulator starts. And we're back, as you can see, once we click the button, text view clears. If you enjoyed this tutorial, head over to my channel and watch the other tutorials. Congratulations. Mass Programmer out.